Traditions are fun. In particular, when I think of some fun traditions, I think of the odd and goofy ones that people in my life have shared or talked to me about. For example, I have some friends that have a Christmas tradition of pajama claws, a tradition where their parents would, while the children are out and unaware, sneak in and leave a brand new set of pajamas for them to wear that night of Christmas Eve. Sort of like a Santa Claus, but only for pajamas. My own family has a tradition where at the start of the new year, we give each other a folded dollar bill with a lentil seed inside. Some of these traditions have deep and meaningful histories, even when we're not personally aware of them while participating. And some are simply there to bring humans and human behavior to a focal point during a shared time. I've started my own, perhaps not as unique or goofy tradition of watching certain series or movies during certain parts of the year. One of these traditions is watching over the garden wall during the autumn seasons. This leads me to the main point of this video, and that is to try and motivate folks who haven't yet watched Over the Garden Wall and are looking for an excuse and a reason to check it out. So thusly, this video is going to be all gas and no breaks from here and all themes and no spoilers. So if you're worried I might ruin some of the story, don't be. I'm just going to be talking about the overarching setup and themes that make Over the Garden Wall a fall and autumnal classic, and if you want, a series worth visiting every turning of the leaves. So let's start first with what is Over the Garden Wall and why is it worth watching and rewatching. The general story of Over in the Garden Wall follows two brothers, Wirt, who is a slightly neurotic straight man trope, and Greg, who is a free-spirited loose cannon. The brothers are lost and trying to find their way home. Each episode is on average a little over 10 minutes long, and there are only 10 episodes, making it possible for you to start and finish these brothers' adventures in about 2 hours and 30 minutes. At first watch through, the story isn't one of incredible depth or complexity. While there are plot twists and turns and character development, each episode, while being short, is also self-contained and has a quick subplot conflict to subplot resolution, while simultaneously furthering the story of the main two brothers slowly. When I try to characterize Over the Garden Wall's art style, I often make a comparison to the art design in video games like Don't Starve and Cuphead. It's reminiscent of Don't Starve in a this is charmingly cute kind of way, but at the same time pushes the boundaries of what the word charming can mean while displaying dark or spooky or eerie material. And it's also got this Cuphead rubber house animation meets fairy tale book illustration thing going on, which ultimately doesn't anchor itself into one distinct time period and balances a contemporary but old school aesthetic. Oh yeah, and the music, it's a banger. Play something like this. Oh, like this? Mm, good enough. <laughs> and it also does this unique blend of contemporary and old school. The theme of the plot of Over the Garden Wall, while up for debate, can be viewed as a coming-of-age story, or as one of a general metaphor of being lost and navigating home, with the two brothers navigating home representing them navigating through their own lives and not only finding themselves, but also finding out how to love each other. So why is this all worth watching, and why should you do it now during the Halloween and autumnal season? Well, as far as the time to watch it, really, it's America, and you can watch it any time of the year. But I would just watch it around the Thanksgiving and Halloween seasons for the simple reason that's generally the seasons that the adventures of the two brothers take place. The two brothers, from the first episode to the last, navigate through woods that contain all the colors of the end harvest season. Pumpkins are ripening, leaves are falling, and the color palettes of the episodes are full of these autumnal browns and golden shades. In short, if there was ever a time to watch over the garden wall, it would be during the fall and autumn seasons. It's a fun tradition that I think pairs well with the tradition of Halloween here in the North Americas. As a child, we go from household to household saying trick or treat and receiving candy from the homes that still participate in that tradition. Like Halloween candy, the show itself is easily consumable. Its short and sweet episodes and limited length make it easily digestible for any short amount of time, and the whole thing is so refined like sugar that it just cuts down to the simple essence of the story. Candy camouflage! And that, as unpretentious and as uncomplicated as it is, is really the main reason to watch Over the Garden Wall. The story is simple, fun, and charming, but it dances with the supernatural and spooky just to keep you intrigued with the mystery of it all. Just like Halloween traditions. And that's not to say there isn't, if you wanted to, really something to dive into with the story. There are, for example, videos on YouTube that go into 30-minute explanations of how Over the Garden Wall is in fact a parallel to Dante's Inferno, and how the story of the two characters descending into the unknown woods is in fact a journey to hell, or at least the parallel to it. And I'm not saying necessarily that this interpretation is wrong or silly. I've watched that video and I think it holds water, and trust me, I kind of love that analysis. But I don't think you have to interpret Over the Garden Wall in this way to enjoy it. In the same way that you can view and participate in the traditions of Halloween as a fun and simple way of sharing and eating candy while dressed up in a costume, without needing to dive into the religious and cultural histories and the meanings behind it, 
Over the garden wall can be viewed as just a simple and fun, a little bit spooky and a little bit goofy tradition of watching two brothers journey home. And I personally add it to my own list of goofy fun traditions during the fall holidays. If that tradition sounds fun to you, and if you haven't watched Over the Garden Wall yet, then I encourage you this harvest season to give it a shot. As of this video, it's free on Hulu, and I'll provide a link below. Either way, thanks for listening to me, and let me know what you think of this video and Over the Garden Wall. And I'll catch you next time.